Hello everyone. We spend, or at least are supposed to spend, a third of our day sleeping. Sleep is much more than a passive activity. We need that time to clear our minds and restore our bodies. If we don't get enough rest each night, we become cognitively impaired, just as if we had been drinking alcohol. There are four stages of sleep, and it takes 90 to 110 minutes to complete an entire cycle, which translates into about four cycles per night. Stage one happens during the first five to 10 minutes of the sleep cycle. This is when it is easiest to be awoken and your muscles begin to relax. This is also when you are most likely to experience a hypnagogic jerk. With hypnagogic jerks, your muscles might suddenly switch or you might act out a dream like falling off a cliff, falling from the sky or tripping. Why the falling? Researchers aren't really sure about that but it's more likely to happen when you're overtired, sleep deprived or stressed, which causes your brain to enter into sleep cycles more aggressively, but your body hasn't caught up. This is also the reason why you might experience pre-dormital sleep paralysis, where you cannot move or speak if you remain or become awake. Stage two takes up half of the sleep cycle, lasting around 45 to 50 minutes. If you are woken up at this time, you will likely feel very disoriented. Breathing becomes relaxed and slowed as the body temperature drops, giving your heart a bit of a break. Neural activity also decreases during this time as the body prepares for the next phase of the cycle. Stage three is when deep sleep occurs for about 20 minutes and the body is given the chance to restore itself. Brain waves become slow and steady. Muscles and tissues are repaired and various hormones are secreted around the body. Waste management systems in the brain become very active, flushing out that which impairs cognitive function. Despite being the time when most rejuvenation happens, this is also the phase in which you start dreaming because dreaming is a way for your brain to sort things out. It needs to re-evaluate and process before it can file them away as memories. This is also the phase where you might talk in your sleep because your body is in deep stages of sleep, but there's still enough muscle tone to produce sounds or movements that may accompany dream. As for sleepwalking, it happens because you're coming out of sleep just enough for your body to move, but not enough for your brain to be awake. It is incredibly hard to wake someone up during this phase, as anyone who has dealt with a sleepwalker can attest to. Rapid eye movement, REM, is the final stage in the cycle, lasting about 20 minutes. Though the eyes are closed, the eyes move very quickly underneath the eyelid. At this stage, brain activity is high and the bulk of dreaming takes place. You might also experience sleep paralysis at this stage, known as hypnopompic or post-dormital sleep paralysis. This episode of sleep paralysis is basically the opposite of what happens with hypnagogic jerks, where your brain wakes up before the paralysis that accompanies deep sleep goes away. Basically, you may feel like you can't breathe. Many people describe it as an elephant sitting on their chest. That's because all of the muscles that control your breathing, except for the diaphragm, are still paralyzed. 